welcome to another musky hunt. It has not been an easy rodeo over the last uh, probably couple weeks of musky fishing. Just got back home from Minnesota and uh, it didn't go so hot. So Heidi has the night off and we're gonna hop in the canoe, hit a musky puddle and hopefully get, in the, get back into the groove. That's the best thing about Northern Wisconsin. You can hop onto these action lakes. Just get back into the groove of things, set the hook a few times, and hopefully catch some muskies. Um, Heidi has not really caught many muskies this year, so as long as she catches a nice one today, the goal is a 140 incher. Only got about four or five hours, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we catch some fish today because it has been a tough rodeo. Alrighty, we are ready to go. We're gonna have Heidi throwing a ninja to start off the day. There we go. And then I will be running the little nine inch EO last time I was out here. Um, I used the 12 or 13 incher and let's just say I was not getting them hooked. So they were biting it, but I think I need to use a smaller presentation. Now I am all loaded up. Just fishing the lily pads. Need some redemption from our last Minnesota trip, which did not go so hot. Need to set the hook in a few fish and get back to the fun musky fishing. You got him? All right. Keep reeling. Oh, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. Just head shake it. Just see. I don't even know how to do this in the Yep, yep. It's a nice one. How do I turn around? Oh my gosh. Yep, this way, this way, this way. Up, up, up. I can't see her. That's a big one. That's a big one, Heidi. Oh my gosh. That thing was crazy. Oh my gosh! That was a that just that those jumps were insane. Stop splashing us, girl. Whoo! She just came at you, head shaking. <laughs> Holy cow, Rob! <laughs> That's awesome. In the canoe. <laughs> it's so sweet. Oh my god. All right, she's Hold up she's here. Her photo. All or right. whatever. All right. Yeah. I'm sure she's going to just be fired up. Well, that is like 40 or so. I know the wind's blowing. I bet when you just get her in there. Yeah, I know she's thick. All right, I would just let her go. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Little cabbage dragon. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was exciting. That is so creepy. I know we got in the cabbage a little bit. Sorry, maybe I should have. Oh no, I. Oh, you're good. She'll be fine. I just don't think she knows if she's that she's free. <laughs> Yeah, she's just sitting right there. She's just sitting on top of the weeds. Alrighty. Wow, look how long that thing is. <laughs> how long were you? We'll never know. Oh my gosh, she looks bigger and bigger. I wish she had sunglasses on her. That was crazy. Well, that didn't take long. <laughs> yeah, I would say 40 to 42. That was uh, amazing fish, amazing jumps. I hope the cameras, I know we're not real rigged up great for cameras in the canoe, but I'm pretty sure this camera got that when it was jumping oh, right next to Heidi. <laughs> <laughs> that was insane. On the Ninja, that was cool. Um, yeah, I guess we'll get fishing again. <laughs> well, that didn't last long. <laughs> that Ninja is... 
absolutely crooked. That fish inhaled it. We'll straighten this back out. <laughs> Get fishing here again. That was nuts. That would have been interesting to bump. That thing was was very cool. <laughs> out bumping fish out here. I never expect to catch real, real big ones out of the canoe, but either or. That was crazy. Lee Lures Ninja. Well, first 15 minutes, I like that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, ah, dang it. That was a big one. <laughs> oh my gosh, she slurped that thing. That was a nice one. About a tad smaller than what you had on, Heidi. Oh my gosh. That thing was pulling. Jumps all the way out of the water. <laughs> Got a nibble. Let's see where this thing bit the seal. That thing was thick right back into the cabbage. I don't even see many bite marks. Gosh, I thought I had her. Just sliced on the tail here. Nothing really up by the head though. I'm shocked. Well, it's been a good hour since we had any action, so. Just sitting in that little pocket there. Gosh, that was cool. Well, one for two. <laughs> oh, that was sweet. <laughs> not too bad. If this one comes off. I'm not too worried about it, but I think we can just slide that net right in there, Heidi. Oops, I'm stuck on the thing. Okay, good. You're good. <laughs> on the oar. <laughs> and she's off. Perfect. On the eel. Right on. Just lost that one. I was like, I looked in this back little weedy corner. I'm like, well, this might as well try it out. <laughs> And it worked. <laughs> well, that was exciting. <laughs> On the nine inch killer eel. Little weedy corner of the lake. Those baits just run perfect for the cabbage. We got a fired up muskie. Maybe whiz. Let's see that old killer. Come here. I haven't held one of these things in a while. Alrighty, spunky little musky, awesome, super cool, two for three, just lost that nice one, and uh, this one worked, <laughs> I like it, oh, I'd be able to hold on to you to get some underwater, I think so, yeah, you want to go, don't you, <laughs> fired up, awesome release, I think we got about another half hour or so, We'll get out of the, the wilderness here. Heidi's first time experiencing one of these places. Glad she was off of work tonight. <laughs> Got two and um, yeah, it's just so fun. I just love how they can just, they just jump. They just jump, they're just oh, super fun. I love it. Um, just one more, that'd be nice. A little icing on the cake. All right, kind of rectify the bait here. This leader was all the way through it. She really smoked that thing. Pull on it a little bit, a couple teeth marks. Oh, that was fun. I like, I like aggressive muskies. I haven't seen that in a little bit. Let me show you guys my setup here. I've got a, just a single strand leader up front, like a glider leader. These baits seem to work the best with a split ring and a little glide bait, dive and rise kind of leader that you would run. 
seem like they walk a little bit better. Went with the lighter setup today because, I don't know, it's a pretty light bait. You could definitely throw this on musky size setup, but I don't know, in the canoe it's kind of fun to fight them on the little lighter gear a little bit. Make it a little more interesting. Got a 300 tranks, and this is a Corrado um, bass rod, which is a 7.8 extra heavy, which is what we use for our Death Paws minnows, our little downsized setups. This perfect little rod, but she was sitting in the thick weed just like the last one I just hooked on this bait. Are you still rolling the ninja? Might have to throw a top water out for a little bit, maybe. I don't know. Either or. Fun little evening session here. Oh, yep. There you go. Nice job, Heidi. Oh boy, oh boy. Still got it? Yep. I think. No. No. Dang it. <laughs> was, wasn't sure was swimming with me. Right, like the last one. Dang it. <laughs> we said five more casts. Almost. <laughs> Dang it. Well, can't. Uh, she slurped it. <laughs> Just had Heidi switch to a single eight Esox Assault because this little bay here, it's uh, weeds out that extend out from the uh, lily pads. So I have a bait that runs super shallow. That ninja runs, you can burn it, but not the easiest thing to be burning when you're sitting down in a canoe. So. <laughs> Just switched up to that bait. I just switched to an angry dragon because uh, there's not much time left and I wanted to hit as many casts as possible not working something slow. Dang, that would have been the icing on the cake. <laughs> Unfortunately, didn't happen, but we got a few more in us. Quick little evening musky outing. Sunglasses for the day were the uh, H3O polarized sunglasses. It's the Vapor model. Green mirror lenses. These are obviously interchangeable. We've been talking to them, talking about them for about a good year now, and uh, I've enjoyed them very much so. Fortunately, Heidi left hers in the car. I love them too. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, the green mirror for these cloudy, somewhat sunny days generally is my pick. Just got in between lens. And that is a wrap, Heidi. Bob. <laughs> Good job. Got the biggest one of the season for you. That's awesome. What, second musky of the season, I should say? Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, third, third, yeah. You got two off oh, of yeah, yeah. opening day week or whatever, but uh, nice, I don't know not how big that one was, but uh, very nice fish in the canoe. Heidi's first fish out of the canoe. Super fun. We don't get to fish very often together. Um, Heidi gets one day off and generally we're not fishing. No. <laughs> <laughs> but there's been a cold front that swooped in and uh, we got out in the boat and decided to go fishing this afternoon. So it worked out good. Two muskies in the boat, two for three. Um, that was fun. Till next time though, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next muskie hunt.